Hey guys, so today I just thought I would um, say something. You know, stop making health and fitness so hard to do. It's not as hard as everybody is making it out to be. Um, you know, everybody's stressing out over how many times they have to work out or how many hours they have to work out and how many sets they have to do and um, not eating, you know, they're, they're extremely focused on starving themselves and not eating exactly by a meal plan. Um, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to be perfect to see results. You don't have to stress about this. We have enough stress in our life. Why would we want to stress about it? So, you know, I get this question a lot. I'm like, you know, people say, you know, I'm, I'm so busy. I just don't think I can fit it in my time or I can't afford it. That's a whole nother video. But, um, you know, when you're eating decent and you're making better choices and you stop eating out all the time, you're not going to be spending as much money on those things. I'm going to save you money. So, you know, you're, the money you're saving, you're actually going to come out on top. So anyways, um, but just stop making it so hard on yourself. You don't have to work out for hours in the gym. You don't have to um, be perfect on your nutrition unless you're going for a bodybuilding competition or you want to do like a fitness physique show. Um, you don't have to be perfect. Um, you don't have to make it every single moment of your day uh, focused on being perfect on it. So, you know, let me just lay it out on the line. Let me show you an easy way, an easy way. 30 minutes of working out each day. You get two cheat days. You don't have to just to spend money to have a gym membership. You do not have to spend hours upon hours working out, whether it's at home or in a gym or in a studio, you know, 30 to 45 minutes done out the door. That's it. You can even split it up. You can do 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening. Um, you don't have to be perfect. And you don't have to worry about not being able to do this. You can do it. If you're scrolling through Facebook, which we all do because I do it too, you have time to do your workout. So, you know, stop making it so hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself, I should say. And then there is the nutrition. It's okay if you're not perfect. You're going to read and hear so many different weight loss gimmicks, weight loss diets, um, health and nutrition information that, you know, just like I've had people that are really confused. Are eggs good for you or are they bad for you? Eggs are good for you. It's a natural thing. So, you know, I don't eat the yellow yolk um, most of the time just because it's an added fat, but... Um, I do a lot of times go ahead and just grab a hard boiled egg on the go, pop it in. It's not a big deal. So, you know, um, just very, it's very simple. Can you eat beef? Yeah, you can eat beef. Can you eat pork? Yeah, you can eat pork. And you can still lose weight. Now, like I said, if you're going for a competition of some sort or your doctor has told you, you have to get down to this weight or you have to lower your body fat by this much, and um, you don't have to be perfect. You know, it's a, it's a day at a time, one step at a time. And if, if you go through, and let's say Monday through Wednesday, you're doing great on your nutrition, you're doing great on your exercises, and all of a sudden something happens, and which is life. And you're not perfect. Maybe you slip and you, you don't work out. And maybe maybe you have to eat out. Or maybe you forgot your lunch and you have to eat out. Or maybe you just don't feel like following the meal plan. It's okay. That's one day. You get, you know, it, it, it's okay. The next day you jump back on there. There is nothing stressful about it. Stop making it so hard. You can do this. I've seen people go through so much more and make it through. And this is just a small, minute part of your day. And it just takes a little willpower and thinking. Thinking about what you're putting in your mouth. Thinking about what you're doing with your free time. And, you know, it's, it's, um, I know that it's getting ready to be, all of the kids are going to be in sports and it's sports season. And I have clients that still, 
they're 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 traveling all the time and they still pack a lunch or they pack their snacks that i've given them a list of things that are healthier to choose if you're out and you have to eat at a concession stand you know i mean you just make better choices it's not a stressful thing and it's not going to take all of your time to prep your meals for the week if you know what your week is going to bring pretty much i know there's days where it changes at, at an instant believe me i know that um Prep your food on Sunday. Everybody has a Sunday afternoon where they can kind of chill out. Just, you know, just take a little time. Throw some chicken, baked chicken in, in the oven and bake it for the next several days. There's there's some of it. You know, get your salad pre-made. Make a mason jar salad. Take it with you. you can You can take your little, your little containers with your salad dressing in it. Um, it's all about willpower and just thinking about what you're doing it's not hard so stop making it so hard you can do this and i have no doubt that once you get it in your mind you want to do it that you'll make it happen but stop making it be such a difficult stressful thing that you would rather not think about your health should come first your happiness should come first and you should feel good about yourself so that should be priority in your life, and it's not a stressful thing. The more you work on you, the better you can handle your stresses in life. And it all just comes together. So stop making it so hard. It's not so hard, I promise. I hope you all have a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you soon.